We've talked about refraction, the bending and slowing down of light, but we haven't gone into detail of what makes this beautiful rainbow sparkle. Let's talk about some other related effects of refraction, bending, and sorting of light. Dispersion describes the beautiful rainbow split that we associate with prisms. Fact, different frequencies actually have different indices of refraction. They move through the medium at different speeds. This means that the table of indices of refraction that we copied down for light isn't entirely accurate for everything. It's not a lie, but it is a big, huge, general average. It's an average across all the frequencies. Individually, red light bends the least, and violet light bends the most. So if the light has to speed up and slow down and bend, and speed up and slow down and bend, and speed up and slow down and bend, and again and again and again and again, Sooner or later, violet is going to let, be left behind, and blue next as much, and green next as much, and yellow and orange next as much, compared to red, which is going to be streaming on closer to straight ahead. And that's why, if you have too many stops and starts, white light reflecting through a prism or anything else will split into its component colors. In the characteristic Pink Floyd pattern, we've learned to expect. This is called dispersion. If you want to block the light, this is a fine thing. Polaroid or polarized sunglasses are there to filter out horizontally polarized waves, which are disproportionately waves coming from a horizontal surface. What is a horizontal surface? The highway in front of you or the roofs and hoods of the cars in front of you. Polaroid sunglasses are there to filter out the glare and leave the rest of the light so you're not driving blind. They say that, look, if it's coming off a horizontal surface, it's probably going to be horizontally polarized. Let's eliminate all the light that comes from the ground and from the cars in front of you. Not their headlights, but the actual surfaces of the cars, and leave the light that comes from outside sources. Does it cut all the glare? No, but anybody who's ever driven west at 5 p.m. knows that they cut down that glare a lot. LCDs, liquid crystals, use polarizers to block what they want to, and show what they want to. The electricity going through the LCDs rotates the crystals so that they can be horizontally or vertically polarized. Now, rotate the crystals. They can go through one filter. They can go through the other filter. And then at the speed of electronic processing, they can appear if they're polarized correctly or disappear if they're not polarized correctly. Even though they're still there, they just can't be seen until they're turned into the correct orientation.